What a week. What a week. So, Monday, I go into work and just bust my ass like normal. There was a guy down there on Friday, and he was like, Oh yeah, I'll take care of the plastic and this and that. He didn't fucking do it. He did everything he could to not have to be down there. Like, I'm busting my ass, and they sent him down there to do it. Because I don't know if, you know, uh, they were expecting my boss to have me off that day. But I was there, he was there, and, like, every once I got there, I was I got there 8 o'clock, and I don't know what time he was there, but he had only done, like, half a bail. So I'm like, okay, this guy is slow. So after I get there, he's like, oh, I gotta go to the bathroom. So he goes to the bathroom. By the time he comes back, I've got half of the area pretty much already cleared out. He comes down and sees it. He's like, I'm like, I don't fuck around. I've got to get all this shit done by the end of my day, which is only five hours. I got to get it done. I don't fuck around. So, but it's like throughout the day, he's like, oh, I got to go to the bathroom. Oh, I got to get a drink. Oh, it's time for me to take my break. It's just one excuse after another of why he couldn't. I mean, he flat out said he didn't want to be down there. Um, and then like later on during the day, like pretty much like an hour or so before I had to leave, I said something about the plastic. He's like, oh, yeah, I'll do the plastic. And, you know, and the, about the cardboard across the way. Nope, he didn't do it. I went in Monday. It was still fucking there. What do you know? So, I got that shit done on Monday. Wednesday, I go in. They, uh, there's a lot of fucking tubes to do. There wasn't that much cardboard, but I was trying to go in between both of them. Uh, I did plastic, but it really didn't matter. But the, 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 the machine's fucking up again. So that it was taking forever for the plastic to crush down, and also it was taking forever to do the other baler because they, they're fucking cutting the tubes like this fuck like like this fucking large. And tubes when they're that big, they get jammed when the thing comes in and starts crushing it, it gets jammed. So then you gotta have it come out and try to open the thing. I mean you guys have seen the pictures of what the baler looks like. You see that door, you gotta open there, try to get all the Car, uh, the tubes down into the bottom crush it again if it does the same thing you gotta pull it back do the same fucking thing because they're they're, they're like that fucking that fucking big um and it messes us up so I had to leave the um bale sitting there for a little while to crush down so on Wednesday I was able to go around and collect you know stuff for the um, the thing, the, the supply closet. Um, or no, the, no, actually, I did that Monday. Yeah, Monday, I had I had a chance. Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, I didn't have a chance. But I was like I was going between, and uh, I had um. The, my boss and Jeff, Jeff's no longer there, so he quit, which pff, I knew that was going to happen. It, they said it was because of his car, because his motor's fucked up and he needs to pay for a new one and he doesn't live in town. So he quit. I mean, I knew when he first got there that he wasn't going to stay long. I didn't know the reason, but I knew it was going to happen. So, but my boss was like, oh yeah, they, you know... 30 go up there for pizza and blah 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 I mean, the whole, they got pizza for the whole factory um but while everyone else got to sit down everyone got to sit down and enjoy it i was walking down you know people were in the canteen eating and they were getting to enjoy it my freaking roommate was down in the office you know sitting there listening to her, her music on her phone eating me i didn't have a chance I, I had five pieces and I had to scarf them all down on the way back because it takes five minutes to get up there. It takes five minutes to get back. And then assuming I would sit down, that's another 10, 15 minutes right there. So almost half an hour of doing nothing. So we were 
barely able to get everything done by one o'clock. And that's because I skipped eating and I just ate on the way back. So had I not, we would have been just one thirty, maybe get done. Because we finished the tubes, or not the tubes, the, the, the cardboard. And I remember when we got done with the carpet, we put it in, we didn't bail it, but we got it in. It was like 12.59. And I was like, one minute to spare. So if I hadn't worked the way I did, it wouldn't, it wouldn't have been done. Um, and then today I go in and I got all the fucking tubes done finally. But then the other baler, I got that shit done. There's a whole shitload of freaking um, uh, lab. But it was like one box. It was just one box. One box managed to make an entire bale because it was all huge pieces. And uh, when the bale was the, the chain, when it goes up, the chain goes up with it, the chain fell off and the, the bale ended up getting just stayed in there. Normally, it's not a problem. With any other bale, I can just like pull on the front and just pull it out. Or I can, you know, pull the, the, you know, thing down, close the door, press the button, have it come down enough to where I can either put the chain on or pull it off if I need to. But nope, couldn't do that. I couldn't close the door because the bale was so fucking huge that, you know, when you try closing the door, it just like bounced off the front. I couldn't, I tried to swing it around and try to jam it to where I could get it you know, locked into the place with the thing that uh, grabs it. But, so I told my boss, and uh, they managed to get it out, like, right away. I have a feeling, I think all they really had to do was take the forklift and just kind of go in that way and just lift it up. But um, I couldn't do anything, because apparently when this, uh, the chain comes off, it's like a safety switch kind of thing. Uh, so the won't come down. I didn't know that. Even my boss was like, I didn't know that. She's the one who taught me, and she's been there for ages. So the fact that she didn't know, because I had to check when I'm like, yeah, just make sure they know that it's not my fault. There was nothing I could have done about it, because I don't want them thinking, like, I'm fucking stupid and don't know how to do my job. I've been doing this job for a total of, like, two years at this point. So, you know, uh, a year and a half the last time, and then I've been there for six, let's see, August, September, October, November, December, January. Yeah. So, yeah, I've been working at that factory for about two years total. And I've done nothing but that. So I'm pretty sure I know how to do my job. But uh, the, the fucking thing's been acting up. It's been acting up. Uh, the, when it goes down, it goes down extremely slow. Uh, the whole machine shakes like it really shouldn't. Um, the chain is fucked up. Hell, she even said something about the other bailer, the, the lift. She was like, yeah, I told them about the lift, how it's going slow, and it needs, you know, it, they need to fix it so it can get back to going up fast. They don't care. She's not really part of the factory. She's contracted by them. So they don't give a shit. It's basically, we'll do it when we do it. So... But if it was one of their people, yeah, you bet your ass would be getting done. But nope, we're not important enough. But stuff like that can lead to accidents. But then, they're, then they'll just say, oh, uh, you should have been making sure we're doing it right. And it's like, I was doing it right. I'm not fucking stupid. I do this every day for the past two fucking years I've been doing this. I'm not stupid. You know, we just had that thing fixed in October. Yeah, it took like a month or two after I got back to, to fix that goddamn thing. And already it's causing more problems. The hydraulic fluid is leaking, uh, the thing's going slower, the chain is fucked up. I'm like, they just need to consider getting a new one. The thing's been there for 25 plus years, maybe even since the, the place opened. And that was back in the 50s. So she said, yeah, it's at least 25 years old. I'm like, maybe they just need to replace it. It's either they have to keep coming down, coming down here, maintenancing it, or they can just fucking get a new one. <laughs> I mean, you know, it, it... I 
They had fucking Pizza Hut too. That fucking pissed me off. I wanted to fucking enjoy that. I love Pizza Hut. It's my number one pizza that I go to. Number one is actually my own, but I don't make my own pizza anymore. But without my pizza, that, taking that off the list, Pizza Hut, um, Domino's, uh, Little Caesars. But if you wanted to involve other pizza type things, it would be Pizza Hut CC's because I love CC's. I think everybody loves CC's. Uh, so Pizza Hut CC's, Domino's, uh, Papa John, no, we're not Papa John's, uh, Little Caesars, and then Papa John's is dead last because Papa John sucks. They, you know, all their specialty pieces so fucking expensive. I mean, uh, pizza has plenty of good deals. I mean, back when they were having, uh, there was they had a deal when I was in um, Texas for a while. It was a uh, like a buy three for eight dollars a piece. It was a large one topping, um, and so I would get one uh, thin and crispy one original pan and then stuffed crust stuffed crust you have to pay, pay like an extra dollar for but it's stuffed crust i don't care i love it so yeah all of them were like eight dollars each and uh i would get them and uh they'd all be gone within a couple minutes and on the rare occasion i managed to stave away from that i put the the box into the oven and i'd be sitting there watching tv downstairs and i'm just like I get up, take one piece, go sit back down. Sitting there a few minutes later, I'm like, get back up, take another piece. And so I eventually just kind of went and take the box out, sit back at the table. I'm like, okay, I have to finish it. The whole point in ordering that much is to have some for the next day and the next. No, no. My fat ass is able to eat three large Pizza Hut pizzas in a few minutes by myself. I'm like, fuck my life. It was the same thing with the, the, the Chinese food. I would order like 20 something dollars in Chinese food. And it was and mainly from this place because the delivery girl, adorable. Actually, she was pretty freaking hot. And I always got the same delivery girl. Mainly because I tipped her. So I think she just kind of like saw the address and like, oh yeah, he tips. So I'm gonna go over. Um, no, she never snuck anything uh, extra into to the food. You know, no number or anything. You know, I open up the bag, but well, there's like her fucking number or something. No, nothing like that. Because people will say, oh, yeah, she liked you. Same way you guys say, oh, yeah, the girl down at Dollar General, she likes you. No, she doesn't. She's just socially awkward. But, um, yeah, Chinese food, the same thing. I'd get like two, three orders, you know, to feed like two, three people. And I'd sit there by myself and eat it all in a couple minutes. Of course, I was working at SeaWorld at the time, so, you know, <laughs> when you're standing out in the hot sun for God knows how long or working 17-hour days, you're going to work up an appetite. So when you have a day off, you're going to eat. And I ate. I ate so fucking hard. So. Usually when I say I worked at SeaWorld and it was hot, you know, it was hot there and this and that, people are like, oh, well, that makes sense why you're eating so much. But SeaWorld, it got to the point when I was working at, um, and this was when I was doing the, the uh, stadiums and all that. I looked in the mirror one day and I didn't even recognize myself because I had lost so much weight. And not here, but like here. This is like the hardest fucking thing to lose. But I was walking up and down 40, you know, it's like 40 flights, you know, a flight of 40 stairs. Uh, just up and down, up and down all fucking day with sweeping and all that. And I looked, because I had to shave, and I looked at myself, I'm like, I turned to the side, I'm like, I turned to the other side, and I'm thinking, something seems different. And I'm, I, I, I couldn't figure it out. I go in, and my mom was in her room. I'm like, hey, uh, do I look different? She's like, what do you mean? I'm like, I do I look different? She's like, your face looks thinner. She's like, you don't have the much of that. I'm like, I knew it. <laughs> but I mean, you're you're in the hot sun. You're having to fucking talk to people. You're sweating. You're walking up and down stairs, up and down, up and down, up and down all fucking day, several days a week. 
uh, for six, seven, eight hours, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna lose the weight. And uh, I was eating a lot healthier than, you know. I mean, not like super super healthy, but definitely more healthy than what I'm eating now. I mean. This is pretty much what I've been living on. Tomato soup and bread. Tomato soup and bread. Not even toast. You know, people like to have tomato soup and toast. No. No. Bread. I open the can of tomato soup. I take the bread. I dunk it in. I, I don't heat it up. One, we don't even have a microwave right now because the fucking tongue broke. Uh, the prong on the, the end where you plug it in, it broke, so still trying to replace that, but I have no fucking money right now. I've got like 180 something dollars, 140 next week, because I gotta take out 20 for fucking Scusa. But uh, yeah, that's what I've been living off of. Uh, tomato soup and bread. You know, there are rare occasions where I've bought the stuff like chips and stuff, but um, other than that, yeah, it's it's a soup and bread. I'll eat something once in a while if I'm at work. Like today, I had uh, two of those uh, eight-inch subs. Eight-inch subs, that's 14 inches total, and I can scarf like fucking four or five of those down. No, no problem. I just like... It's just, it's also easier when they have mayonnaise there, because if it was Black Forest Ham and Swiss, and it just tastes better with mayo, like mayo and mustard. There you go. But luckily they had mayo because uh, you open the packet and on the bottom of the, the sandwich, they have like two fucking mustard packets stuck to it. But I don't like just mustard. I like you know, the mayo, you put mustard, and then you, you kind of push everything in, you know, push it together because it's nice and hot and the cheese is nice and good. Yeah. Mm. Eight inch, it was like an eight inch sub, it's like three dollars. So they also had uh, the little carrot cake things for like like this big or something. Like little carrot cake, there's like a dollar. I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, I'm getting one. Those things are so fucking good. I love carrot cake. Got good carrot, carrot, carrot cake. Um, but yeah, most of the time I'm just eating soup and bread. Uh, I'll sometimes eat at work, mainly because, you know, I'm waking up in the morning, like, 5, 6 o'clock. I don't have breakfast because there's nothing to eat. I don't have a fucking microwave to make anything in. Uh, I get to work, and the first thing I do is work. I bust my ass. And then I get off work at 1 o'clock, so, and then I've got two hours to sit around doing nothing. So I'm like... Uh, I'm hungry. I don't have much money, but I'm fucking starving right now. So. Yeah. But hopefully not an XP chat. I mean, I should be getting my taxes back soon. It says they were accepted. It's only going to be like fucking $233. But I've only been there for six months, so. I think it said I only made a total of like $1,400. It's disgusting. I'm making nine dollars an hour, but it shows how little hours I actually get. So, but yeah, taxes should be soon, and then my next paycheck should be fairly big. Uh, let's see, this I worked all of this week, about five hours. Today I worked from seven fifty to about one thirty. So say about two hours or um, an extra hour, so about till two almost. So that's six hours, and then next week, uh, probably about five hours each. So be like two hundred something dollars. So that including the uh, the taxes, I should have you know six hundred something dollars. You know if I don't spend anything to get where I get below one hundred. So, whatever. <laughs> I'm used to this. Anyways, yeah, one a week. Anyways, you guys know the drill. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.